grab your sticks, grab your gloves. You don't need your helmets yet. Don't need your helmets. You guys weren't ready for that, were you? You guys good? Everybody got space? Everybody okay? You guys okay? All right, good. All right, good. That's good to hear. All right, so now, like I said, we're doing all standing neutral grip today, okay? Now, I told everybody in the first group what's really important in facing off is stance. So, same thing with facing off. We're talking about a really, really fast event. You gotta be ready to go, you gotta be in a good stance. So here's a couple keys. One, you wanna have your left foot as close to the line as you can get it. Now your right foot actually wants to be behind your left foot, okay? So if I'm facing you this way, see how my right foot is behind my left foot? It's not even with it or in front of it, okay? Really important. So, left foot is close to the line. Left foot, left foot, this foot, close to the line as we can get it. Right foot, probably about six to 12 inches back from our right hand, okay? You guys feel that? You guys good? Let's see everybody do that, Let's see everybody do that. Oh, one huge point. I wanna have my toes and my hips pointed towards the ball and towards my opponent. Okay, you see how I'm doing that? Right, you don't wanna be facing upfield like this. Okay, I wanna be angled towards the ball, towards my opponent. All right, All right go down. I'm always neutral grip with my right hand, so not moto grip standing up or neutral grip. I got my left hand probably about like an elbow's length from the bottom. You know, I probably, I go a little bit less. I go like probably like this much, but elbow's length for your younger guys, okay? But like probably from the bottom, all right? Now I come down and I always want my elbows inside my knees, okay? So I do not want my knees inside my elbows, see that? Elbows inside my knees, all right? Very light on my hands. I don't want to have a lot of weight on my hands, okay? And lastly is, I want to have like a 90 degree bend in my knees, okay? So I don't want to be sitting down like this. You don't want to be down like this because you can't move. And you don't want your butt above your head, okay? You don't want to have your legs straight either. You want to have like a 90 degree bend right about here, all right? Let's see everybody get down that good stance. And now from here, we're just going to get our hands warm and we're going to chop over on top of the ball like this, okay? On the whistle, we're going to go on the whistle. Left foot, what do you do left foot? Close to the line, right? This is your right foot. Yep, left foot all the way up here. All the way up here. Now point it towards the ball. Now bend your knees. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, you got it. Looks good. Looks good. Chop, keep going. Keep jumping. Jump. 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 Good. All right. All right, guys, that look really good. Now, moving on. Everything stay in neutral grip. We have top row moves and we have bottom row moves. And let me explain this real quick. That stance you guys just got in looked really great all around. Do the same stance every time you go down. All right? Really, 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 really important. You want to be always ready, always comfortable in your element when you go down. All right? So, now, getting into our moves. We got top row moves and we have bottom row moves, okay? Everything standing up, top row moves, bottom row moves. We're gonna go through all of our top rail moves right now, okay? So top rail meaning, when I'm ready to face off, this is my top sidewall, this is my bottom one. I'm using my top sidewall to control when, do a bunch of different things. You feel me? All right, so now, top sidewall, we're here. We're coming down that perfect stance. We're gonna do our quick clamp. This is the first move of the day, all right? Quick clamp, we're here. Ball always starts in the middle of our stick and we want to come down this line, clamp this ball in what part of our head? You guys know? The throat of our head. You guys know why we use the throat of our head? Because it secures the ball and it's the strongest part of our head. Everybody squish your head like this, squish your head like this, squish it like this, squish it. Squish it in the middle. You feel how squishy it is? It's really squishy. Soft, soft. Now squish it at the bottom, squish it at the bottom. This is really strong, right? That's what you want to use. You want to use the strong part, all right? So we're here and we're just going to come right down this line, get that ball in the throat of our stick. Now notice, I'm not really punching my left hand with standing neutral grip, okay? I'm keeping my left hand straight with that line. I'm not punching it. And also notice, after I clamp, I bring my head and body over the ball, all right? So I leave with my hands, follow with my body. So I'm here, down, set, whistle, boom, and I get my head over that ball. And I do all that without moving my feet. You see that? Just leaning in. You see that? I'm like a surfer dude, all right? Sound good? You guys ready? You guys good? All right, we're going. On the whistle. On the whistle. Quick clamp. Probably gonna do maybe five, ten, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Ready? Down. 
set. Boom, good, good, yeah, we're gonna get that hurry ball. 